Leo, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes, here to give you your reading, my love. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts, pick a node. It does not matter to me. I love you all. If you found the message or the message found you, it's because there's something in here for you or a seed to be planted for tomorrow. Leo, this is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth. You're going to hear me use terms, he, she, her, him, they, them, it, have, uh, pay it, no mind. There's no gender or age here, okay? Feel the energy. And remember, roles can always be reversed. As always, I thank you for like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, and donations. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um, I want to tell you what I heard uh, coming into your energy. It was, um, I can't because I might like it, you know? Um, yeah, I want to, I can't because I might like it. Um, I don't know if it's something, whatever it is, it's a gray area or a fine line, you know what I mean? Um, but you are, or somebody is, it's an intimidation. I have to say, you have somebody smitten or you're smitten by someone or something. Cause it's almost as if, if you get a taste of it, just a little teeny bit, oh wait, all heck might break loose. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know what y'all got going on, but let's see. Wisdom of the Oracle we're pulling for you today. Leo energy, please. Mm. Leo energy, please. What would you do for a Klondike bar, huh? <laughs> Leo energy. Where is it? There it is. A change in the wind. I'm telling you. A little smitten would change everything. Like, uh, uh, I don't know. And then orphaned at the bottom of the <laughs> Leah. <laughs> I love you so much, but I'm trying to tell you. Woo! Somebody has either you smitten and you ready, like, it's like, so if you get a taste of it, you better ready to drop everything like a hot potato. Or somebody's ready to drop everything for you because somebody's going to be left out in the cold. I'm trying to tell you. Orphan here. Abandoned. Alone. You know. Mm, mm, mm. There's a big change here regardless. I don't know. I don't know if you're going to be able to or, or they're going to be able to fight the feeling. You know, can you fight the feeling? Look, milk and honey is under the out. <laughs> Woo! I just, you know, if it, I mean, if it tastes good, it tastes good. What are you going to do? You know, milk and honey is just lovely to me. All right. But it's going to take that risk. Come to the edge. It's going to take a risk. It's going to take a chance. And this is uncharted territory straight to the sea. But uh, the connection is there. You can't deny it. God, I am so smitten right now. Like I'm blushing in this energy. It's so cute. Well, what you going to do, Leo? Or oh, what they going to do? Would you say you going to sit back and just be pretty? Um, uh, let's do a spread. I want, what do I want? I don't even know. I'm still smiling. <laughs> I am still smiling. I think this is wonderful. Uh, for those of you that are saying green eyes, you don't know what you're talking about because I'm married and I've been married for 47 years. You know, that's all right. Ain't nothing wrong with a little rekindle every 10 or 12 years. Hello? I'm just saying. There's nothing wrong with it. But if that's the case and, the, the you know, the new milkman or the mailman got your attention, I'd look. I would go, hey. Somebody has your attention, Leo, or you have somebody's attention, and they are hooked. I mean, 
hooked all the way. Center energy, please, for Leo. Please and thank you. Center energy for... Uh oh The tower reverse. <sighs> I mean, what are you saying to me, Leo? You're saying, look. I've been married for 59 million years. I ain't going nowhere. We ain't going nowhere. It is what it is. You know, blah, 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 blah. I'm not, I'm not threatening, ruining, changing what I've already taken so much time uh, to build, you know? I also want to say that this could be a rebuild, you know? The change in the wind might be the change in... Uh, yeah, the change in uh, reconciliation, as far as reconciliation, you know, trying to rebuild. Uh, but you rebuild it in the same spot. I just want to point that out. Okay? You rebuild it in the same spot. If you're going to rebuild, make sure the foundation is good. Make sure the soil is good, you know? Make sure it's sturdy enough to stand and strong enough to stand longevity. Um, crown the energy, please, Leo. With the tower reverse. Crown the energy, please. There is some lust on this mother loving table, Leo. Good Lord. Woo. High priestess energy. Woo, woo, woo. Pisces here. Good. You know, they know, we know. Uh, this could be, it feels like sex. Uh, that's not sex. What do you call it? Uh, mental sex. Um, Spiritual sex, I don't know, I don't know, like vibes or subliminal, subliminal connections. Oh, Lord, this is spicy. Okay, um, high priestess energy, you know, is highly intuitive, you know. Uh, she knows, she's not a talker, uh, heavy thinker, um, heavy receiver. Um, if this energy is crowning you, it's telling you to listen to your intuition with your situation because it is a pivotal moment of your divine path. Okay, those are the pillars. It's a pivotal moment of your divine path. So listen to your intuition, my love. All right, that means that your ancestors, your angels are guiding you. So you pay attention. What's undermining Leo's energy right now? What's in the way? Five of Pentacles again. So I got this five here twice. Orphan and Five of Pentacles, same energy. Um, heavy issues with abandonment, uh, separation, um, change of, of location. I have to put that out there. You know, um, what it represents, I, I, um, I have to say, I don't know why, but shunned? Maybe, I don't know, shunned? If... You're being led out of a, a group or something shunned is what I'm hearing. Hmm, okay. That's different. Um, where's... All right, I, I was going to ask where this is coming from. I have a nine of cups in reverse. So where this is coming from is your realization that you really got everything you want and then you don't want it. I ain't going to lie, we talking. Or oh, that's what somebody else is realizing you know, in your energy that maybe they thought they got what they wanted or they got what they asked for, but it's not what, you know, once they got it, they didn't want it, you know? So now it's time to redo, re redecorate the situation. I painted uh, this whole damn house green and I really should have did it orange, that kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but this was a, this is a realization. Okay. I also have to say that this is a loss here. I want to say that too. Yeah. Um, you know, somebody really opened up here either to you or you opened up to somebody to say, look, whatever happened, happened. Um, let's start fresh. You know, let's just try it again. Okay. Um, and you're doing it not because you think it's going to work, but because you don't want to be alone. I ain't going to lie. We talking. All right, Leo, it's just me and you. Okay. Um, and I don't like that because, uh, independent energy is still strong. You're strong as an independent energy. Um, being alone doesn't mean that it doesn't have to mean being lonely, you know? Um, so just make sure you really dig deep with that and listen to, um, 
listen to your heart, listen to your soul, you know, that to know that the blood, sweat, years and tears that it takes to build, you know, is time that you'll never get back. I'm just saying. All right. Where's this going? Future energy, please. Where's this going? The moon in reverse. So we definitely have some secrets coming out. We got some revelations happening. Um, and the fool at the bottom of the deck. You know what? You may fight against this, but it looks like your energy and um, your angels, your ancestors, you know, the most high is honestly leading you to a place of freedom. Okay, a place of freedom, a place where you are open and optimistic and um, hopeful, you know, faithful, um, things like that with this full energy, Aries, Aquarian energy here. Um, I, I like it for you, Leo. I just don't feel like you, I, I don't feel you're, um, you're like, you're the, the happy that I had for you. I don't feel that in you. I was happy for you. I wasn't feeling your happy. Does that make sense? I I I I see your growth, you know. Um I see your willingness, you know, to even go further. Uh and your willingness to do whatever it takes. You're like just give me a clear message, give me some clear guidance, let me know what's going on because I'm not going to put myself out there on a limb and be helpless or homeless or in limbo. You know what I'm saying? But a leap of faith is exactly what it is. It's a leap of faith. You know, something you, you might not know what's before you, but what you do know is what's behind you. Okay? So what you need to figure out now is what's under you. What are you standing on? You know, what exactly are you standing on? All right. And that's what you're waiting for. Direction, full energy here, direction. And this is what I'm telling you. You're waiting for something you already have uh, because it's in you. You know your truth. Queen of Swords here. All right. Uh, you know your truth. So that's what you stand on. Stand there first and then uh, figure out the surroundings once you get your footing. OK, others of you, uh, honestly, this is an air sign that you're trying to connect to, but you're already connected to something else. Maybe water with the Scorpio Pisces and everything on my table. Um, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. And there's the water. Mm, mm, mm. Leo. Leo, I, I think somebody's getting ready to show up and say, Leo, I want you. Oh, there you go right there. I want you bad. <laughs> I'm telling you. I... <laughs> Leo, either you're moving to somebody or somebody is coming to you saying, I can't take this ish no more. Please put me out of my misery. Good Lord. Yes. And then, Leo, you're going to contemplate this thing, too. I'm trying to tell you, I don't, hey, hey, the truth of the matter is, look, <laughs> let me think about it, because I done did some stupid things before, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Leo, I love y'all. Listen, um, I, I, you know, I have to say that I, I can see that your heart wants one direction, and, um, you still, you have so much, for for you, it seems like there's so much value in what you're either already invested in or what you are moving away from. You still hold value with it, you know, that energy, energy rather. So when you're looking for a possibility of a new future or a possibility of taking a chance, um, you're a little apprehensive because you want to make sure, first of all, that you're moving forward. Second of all, that you're edifying because you definitely want to raise the bar a little bit, you know, because if you want what you had, you could have kept what you had. I feel you on that. You know, but you got to go in, you know, with the open heart and, you know, make wise decisions, make some wise choices, smart moves. Um, what's it? This is, um, somebody told you something. Somebody told you something, some kind of investment. I like it. Yeah, go with it. I like it. Mm-hmm. 
Yep. And it's going to be a quick turnaround in and out a quick, um, flip flip. Is that the right term? Yeah. It's going to be a quick flip. So in and out. All right. All right. Um, others of you, uh, yeah, you, you know, you're, you're, I, I like it. I mean, look, I'm holding the 10 of Pentacles, judgment, judgment, the sun. I have the ace of swords. I, I even take the hermit. Like, yes, but the hermit is an independent energy. So you should never be afraid to stand on your own or to, uh, follow your own mind. You know what I'm saying? A uh, high priestess is also an independent energy. Nine of cups is an independent energy, you know? So you shouldn't be in a place where you're tossing back and forth, back and forth between, um, what you know is right for you. And then what you think might be right for the masses, because somebody is coming out of this thing alone. And maybe you feel like, I don't want to abandon this person. You know, that would be wrong. You know, if I leave, they got to, I don't know where they're going to live. If I leave, they, you know, they can't pay the rent or, you know, whatever the case is. But we've been talking about this for a while. So I know this is not something new. It's not like you woke up in the morning and said, Hey, I'm going to change my life today. You've been working on this situation for a while, trying to rekindle, trying to rebuild, trying to rehatch, trying to reconcile. I mean, pick one. It don't matter to me. But every time you try, something happens either in your surroundings or even in your spirit where your intuition starts saying, Leo, baby, come on, you know, come on. And you say, no, because I got some time in and I want to try to make this work and I don't want to do this again. I can't start a new job. I'm 50. What do you think this is? Like, like you know, that's what you're saying. And if you're going to ride the wave, Leo, ride the mother loving S out of the wave. I'll stand by you no matter what your decision. You know what I'm saying? I'll be right here with these damn videos. OK, and we're going to figure it out. But as of right now, the you're at a crossroads. So you have an option, all right? So what you do with that option is up to you. And any type of clarity you, you need, you're getting with this Ace of Swords. So it's not like you're lacking information. I want to say that with that Ace of Swords and that Moon in Reverse, you're not um, able to stand under the umbrella of like, I didn't know, I didn't see, I didn't hear, you know, nothing. You know. So... Understand that this choice is um, a very open choice that you're making, okay? So make sure you understand what's, what the accountability is that comes with it. Because it looks like if you choose you, right to the land of milk and honey, you know? Right to uh, the Ten of Pentacles, judgment, and the sun. Right into happiness, my love. Look at that. Even a new connection, Okay? Maybe with a Libra or Taurus. I heard reconnection. Oh, shoot. I wasn't ready for that. A Libra not going to be happy I said that. Ooh, but I told you, Leo. I told you. You know, you're not the same Leo. All right? And that you're right. That is your twin. You know, they know it too. But there's some, you know, the reconciliation and edification here. And that's what you want. So, Leo, if you're going to go for the mother-loving gusto, now is the time. Now is the time, okay? All right. I hope this helps. If any event you say, look, green eyes, I don't know you and you don't know me. This is not my life. This does not resonate. I'm okay with that. Just for this time, check out your moon and rising signs. Please don't take the energy with you if it's not for you. Leave it here for another Leo, all right? Everybody, thumbs up, subscribe. Make sure that you're notified of future readings. It's absolutely free to do so, and it does support the channel, okay? Remember, we are all perfectly imperfect, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.